Well, good morning, Story Chasers. Uh, it's my last day here at Thousand Trails, and I'm ready to go. So I've got everything uh, packed up. I want to show you my little setup back here. There's the bike. Yep, she fit on there really well. I'm headed out now to meet up with Mark and Shay. I'm so excited to see them. I'm going to try to drive all the way there today, hopefully. Um, we're headed to the Sedona area. And let's see what BLM land we can find. And then further north we go towards Colorado and Idaho. Just to hunker down and wait out this whole self-isolation, quarantine, everything. It was so exhilarating to get back out on the road again after not traveling for about a month and a half. Things seemed pretty normal out on the roads except for the occasional signs stating to keep safe with COVID and keep your distance. Getting back into nature again, especially in beautiful Sedona on BLM land, really fuels my soul. It speaks to me and it makes me feel at peace and at home on this rugged land surrounded by red rock canyons, desert cactus, and flowers. A little fun fact about Sedona, it gained a huge popularity with Hollywood Western films, most notably Billy the Kid and Broken Arrow. It is so beautiful out here in Sedona. So this is my first time actually camping out in Sedona. Uh, after all this time, I can't believe it. I've actually come down this road before. This is off of 89A and 525, I think. And it is so beautiful. But the first time I came down here, it was my very first year actually uh, RVing in 2017. And I came out on a holiday weekend. Psh, don't know why I did that. <laughs> but it was completely full out here. So I had to leave and go to a casino. But isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh. I have had the best sleep since I've been here. I'm gonna show you around this direction. You can see the mountains in the back, I think, with the red rock. We actually have a group of people who have started to camp over here behind us. I don't know which RV it is right now, but um, I actually saw her dog. They were walking down to this little road over here and I noticed the dog first. I was like, hey, I know that dog. And then I looked up and it was Aja from Pandemonium and her little dog Mumu. Mumu, yeah, that's her name. Anyways, super cute, funny, kind of funny to run into them. But anyways, that's their group that's over there. But I'm over here with Mark and Shay. They're not here right now. They actually went for a walk and I was out with them and then came back early because I kind of break up my walks so that I don't have to sit all day while I'm working and today I need to edit videos. So, but this is their van. I would get a van tour and I've been trying to get one for probably a year now. And we just can't seem to get one done. Now with the uh, COVID thing going on, I can't actually do a van tour inside because we don't want to go in and, you know, potentially contaminate anything. So I'm just gonna sit here, but I want to show you something. So this is what they added to the back of their RV. What I love about it is that it fits into their hitch and look how big this thing is. They have so much stuff that they can store in here. That's what they did to actually get rid of a lot of stuff inside of their RV so that they could put extra food, extra water, uh, various things in there so that they could stay out longer. And then, okay, I have to show you what else they have. Dun -dun -dun! Hammock holder. That hammock looks exactly like mine, and they've got this nice holder that breaks down into smaller bowls so they could store it in a bag in the RV. And for the record, if you're wondering, am I going to get one? No. I would love to, but my van is so full right now with everything that there's just no way I can add something extra like that into it. So no, I'm not going to get anything like that. Anyways, it is beautiful out here, guys. It's supposed to be 100 and something degrees in Palm Springs this next week. I'm so glad I left when I did, but guess what? It's getting hotter here too. Um, right now it's nice. It's in the 70s today and tomorrow, but then it's gonna be in the 80s and warming up into the high 80s here soon. And that's kind of normal for Sedona. So we had always decided that we were probably gonna head to Flagstaff at some point so that 
we could just gain an elevation and get cooler. So I think we're headed there. I think we might go there tomorrow. Uh, and we've only been here a couple of days and you know, it kind of sucks because this is so beautiful here and I just got here, but we really want to stay somewhere, you know, a little bit longer term and cooler weather. As long as there's a breeze, usually it's not too bad. I'm so excited that I got out here and away from the campground and was able to actually be out in nature again like this. It just, God, it feels incredible after everything that's been going on, all the emotions that I was going through and just trying to make decisions on where to go. And it feels good to be with someone traveling again and you know being able to actually be out on the road with them so it's kind of a it's a good support network you know so i'm glad that it's um mark and shay all right back to work all right well we are headed over to flagstaff the next day and we're at whole foods and i wanted to show you mark and shay's uh production I don't even know if you can hear me through this thing, but that's a solution of water and um, bleach. And he's just sanitizing all the groceries we bought. I'm gonna bring the produce inside and wash it and soak in water. They just have a, solu a sanitizing solution and they spray everything down in the parking lot before they put it in the van. By the way, this is Mark. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and Shay. But yeah, they have a nice little setup here. They spray everything down out here. It just dries in the sun and they can go stock it inside their van. And then Shay takes all of the produce in and washes it before putting it up. What do you uh, have as the solution base, Mark? This is basically concentrated bleach mixed with water. Okay. It's very diluted, but if you look it up on the CDC, website they'll tell you the uh, proportions to do. Well I like the spray bottles it gets in the crevices. So. It's actually pretty good how they have their setup to do it out in the parking lot so then you don't have to bring everything inside and and do it that way but everybody has a different style. So we're headed over to the pilot truck stop now so that we can get some water and maybe dump our tanks. We're not sure I called earlier and they said they didn't have um, anything like that but that's okay I haven't used my cassette toilet very much since I've been here, I've only been on it a couple of days, so anyways, we're going to fill up on water and then hit flag stuff and get situated so I can pull my grill out and my shelter, tent and everything, so alright guys, we'll see ya at the campsite. You look up with those angel eyes, I remember So there's Mark and Shay. I moved today closer to them. There's their rig. There's my claim shelter. That area is where you actually kind of, I guess, should park. But we moved up in the grass because it's more sun. And then my RV with my bike. And then that's the road, you know, out there. So a little bit further away from the road now. And the bike it got pretty dusty on this particular road. I just cleaned it off, but uh, on the road into Sedona, it was fine. So it was just, I guess, much worse here for some reason. 
Well, I have some bad news for us at least. We were out here camping over in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona, and we're in a actual spot that has, you know, places for you to camp, and there's fire pits and everything here. Been here for four days, and the police just came by and told us that this was a no camping area, even though there's no signs that say that there's no camping out here. And we're like, okay, we'll, we'll move. Um, can you give us till tomorrow to move? Cause it's like eh, four o'clock. And they said, no, they wanted us to move today. And then while they're taking down like our information and um, looking at our plates, they're like, well, oh, you live in Texas, they said to me. And I was like, well, yeah, my address is there. and. Um, and I had no reason to lie to them. I said, I live in my van. He's like, we can't reside on National Forest then. And I'm like, um, I think there's a difference in terminology here. We're camping, we're within our 14 day camping limits here. Um, we've only been here for the four days and two days in Sedona. So that's a total of six. It's the same National Forest. He got kind of belligerent with me and told me that I was residing here. And he's using sp very specific words, reside. I'm residing here. My understanding of it is residing is more of permanent. That's what he was trying to get at, that we were permanently dwelling here. And I kept saying, no, we're camping. And he's like, but you just said that you lived in your van. I'm like, yes. What's the difference between me camping here and not having a permanent dwelling somewhere versus someone else who comes in who has a permanent dwelling and has a van or some kind of an RV and stays here for 14 days and he couldn't, he couldn't tell me. He was just being quite frankly a jerk. And so anyway, so now we have to find another place, which whatever, that's fine. If we're not allowed to camp here, we're not allowed to camp here. Again, there's no signs um, where you have to go on the map and go see if we can find something. And I want to double check that they're actually correct. Um, I'm sure they are or else they wouldn't have stopped us, but it was just his behavior. You know what I mean? Like we're in nice rigs. We're not in some crappy looking, you know, RV where we've got stuff strewn out everywhere and trashing it up and like he just was being a jerk. And so he didn't have to be that way. He was trying to tell me something about my personal life that I was residing here when I wasn't. And I had to set the record straight because he was using very strong language with us saying, well, we usually just arrest people for this. And I'm just gonna give you a verbal warning. Like he was total abuse of power, total abuse of power. So anyways, we're gonna go find a place now. It's not how I wanted to end of this day either. So anyways, we're gonna get out. We gotta go find a place now. All right guys, I'll see you later.